honk your horn and get slapped with a fine. The New York City Taxi and Limousine Commission warning taxi drivers that horn honking could lead up to a $350 fine. So much traffic, so much congestion, so many people. It's, it's often needed to really give a horn. Otherwise, people really don't care, traffic don't care. They may be sometimes absent-minded, the, even the people, they're absent-minded. If you don't put horn, it is the traffic is going to be really, really difficult for you. TLC Commissioner David Yasky stated, We are urging our drivers to be better neighbors and to use their horns exclusively to warn of danger. For, a, for all cab driver like me, it doesn't work because I, uh, old people don't, don't like noise and they don't honk. The guys which you honk a lot is a uh, is a new drivers. You can make it make it an, a special rule. So a special rule can be like you, you can put it in some places, some special places where it is uh, like uh, you know before the hospitals, before the schools. If you put some signs over those places, it may really work. Uh, if you think you want to make it a, a, an average rule to everybody. It really, really kill us. It really, really kill us. The TLC is also encouraging passengers to let their drivers know that they do not want them to honk their horn. I actually like when they honk because I know they're actually getting my attention. So the fact that one, just against tax drivers and not other drivers, really blows actually because, I mean, poor guys, $350 seems a little too steep. Cab drivers, but car drivers in general in New York are honking for all kinds of reasons, but never for the right ones. I feel kind of bothered when I'm crossing streets and I'm biking through New York City all the time. And um, yeah, I just get shocked sometimes why they're honking right after behind me, you know. The driving's crazy in New York, so when they do honk, sometimes it actually is necessary. If the driver does not comply, riders are told to call 311 to report the violation. This is Anthony Gonsalves for the New York Post.